Hi, this is Teresa Momber. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this cute spring basket. Begin by stamping the crocus image from the Signs of Spring stamp set from Gina K Designs using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Sometimes on large detailed images like this one, I like to place the paper over the image and then press all over to be sure I get a very clean impression. To color, begin with Copic marker V09 and use it in the areas where you want the deepest shading. Switch to Copic Marker V06 and continue coloring, blending out from the previous color. Now switch to marker V04 and continue coloring, once again blending from the previous color, leaving just a few small areas for highlights. Fill in the remaining areas on the petals using Copic Marker V12. For the stems and leaves, fill in using Copic Marker YG95. After coloring, use scissors to cut out the image and set it aside. To create the basket, trim a piece of white cardstock to 8.5 by 9.5 inches and then score on each side at 2 and 3 quarter inches. To add a little interest to the top center panel, which will be the basket front, I'm going to do a little bit of sponging. Place sticky notes on the bottom and left side about a quarter inch in from the score lines, and then begin sponging using Memento New Sprout ink. Sponge the ink heavier on the inside corner, and then allow it to fade out along the right side and top. Remove the masks and then fold and crease along each score line. The 
Next, I'll trim along the two side score lines until they intersect with the score lines going in the opposite direction. I've found that when I make these boxes, the, but they go together just a little better if I trim along each side of the score line right up against it and trim away creating a small slot. With what will be the outside of the box facing you, add adhesive to the four corner flaps that you created. I like to use very strong adhesive when I'm making 3D boxes like this. In this case, I'm using score tape, which is an excellent adhesive. Remove the protective backing from the tape and fold the corner flaps in, then raise the side flaps up to adhere. Repeat the process for the other side and then you'll have formed your complete box. If you'd like a handle for your basket, trim a 3 quarter by 11 inch piece of coordinating cardstock. Hold the strip of cardstock in place on the inside of your box and use a piercing tool to punch through all the layers. A brad placed through the hole will secure the handle in place. Repeat the same process for the other side of the handle. As you can see, I like to use a small sanding block to protect my finger from the piercing tool. I want the flowers to pop up a bit, so I'm adding self-adhesive foam squares to the back of the flower and stems. Adhere the flowers to the front of your basket. Stamp the sentiment, also from the Signs of Spring stamp set, and secure in place with adhesive foam squares. That completes today's video. Thanks for watching.